Back. As we continue to track Hurricane Jose, the cleanup is continuing further south in states devastated by Harvey and Irma. We've been telling you about the countless local agencies and citizens lending a hand. Well, tonight, Ten in Your Size Liz Kilmer spoke with a chef from Chesapeake doing so in a big way. Tom and you, that's right. Dane Macon is traveling with Mercy Chefs. It's a group that's cooking thousands of fresh quality meals each day for the victims and the first responders in need in southern Florida. Now, the group will remain there until the infrastructure returns. That's when the power's back on and grocery stores are reopened, things like that. Now, when will that be? There's just no telling. You know, the hurricane itself is a disaster, but everybody's living their own disaster. On his travel south from Hampton Roads to Estero, Florida, Dane Macon has seen neighborhoods destroyed, lives turned upside down. We've spoken to some people that have, you know, seven feet of water in their house. But the spirits of those impacted by Hurricane Irma aren't broken, and perhaps that's in part because of the work he's doing here. When the people come out here, there's a lot of comfort and there's a lot of things that happen over a shared meal. On Thursday alone, Macon and his colleagues with Mercy Chefs provided 10,000 meals from the parking lot of the Living Waters Church. It's a challenge. You know, you're away from your family, you're away from your, your loved ones. Um, you know, you're away from, from your job and all the responsibilities that you have back home, but there's, we have to believe that there's more to life than that. You know, that's what, that's what we do. Among the challenges, tracking down diesel fuel to cook inside mobile kitchens. The temperatures are higher than 100 degrees. At night, he and his crew sleep in RVs, many not knowing when they'll return home. Yet the hardest part, Macon says, is seeing people lose so much. He gets by knowing how much their group is helping out. Give these people hope that the disaster they're going through right now is not the disaster of their life. You know, what's happening right now doesn't define them. And by providing meals for them and providing hope and food and love, they know it's going to be okay. So that's, that's our goal here. He tells me that Mercy Chefs runs exclusively off of private donations. If you'd like to help, head on over to wavy.com where we've posted a link where you can do so. Macon says just $2.50 can typically be enough to provide one meal to someone who needs it. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.